Hello YouTube, welcome to Sunday in the Shop. It is 45 degrees out, it is wet, and I know it had to sprinkle overnight. Because everything just wet. Of course, it was really super foggy. But I slept through all that so I could get up early this morning. I have three drawers for that, this is good to me. Uh, I'm guessing these drawers are about three quarters wide. This is going to be the base for my uh, knife sharpener. And they're warped. Now the top I didn't think was warped, but this has been outside under my tarp. I have a tarp hanging off the shed, and this went through below zero weather. Uh, some light snows on it, so we don't know if that warped it or not. There's my little flat wonder bar, my little S-wing, probably a 12 ounce hammer. Uh, this was clean one time and, and clear coated, so I didn't want paint on it because it's just a tool. So it's been cleaned up. It's been kind of sharpened and cleaned. So that's what we're going to use the wreck it with. Uh, we're going to try to save the side pieces where the legs are. Make hammer handles. I know there's going to be grooves probably where the plywood goes in. We're going to save everything. And then what we don't want, like all the drawer for what we don't want is just going to go in the wood stove. So stay tuned. We'll disassemble in this thing. Figure we take, figure we do this on Sunday. We can take a little more time ripping it apart instead of making a video on how to deconstruct a dresser. I mean, scrapping a dresser or what would you ever call it? But there you go. We'll get to work. When we get done, we'll have a bunch of parts to show you today. Okay, we'll give you a couple of clips in here. One reason I have a small hammer, you know you have a big hammer, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to sledgehammer, I'm going to sledgehammer the part. Uh, we have little blocks of wood. Uh, like here, pound on it. Uh, kind of get near this edge and tap a little bit. This one I got on the inside. So, I said, carefully take this stuff apart. Uh, I said, there might be enough width in here to make some hammer handles. I think this is oak. By looking at the top, this looks like some of that cheap furniture you bought back in the 70s and you refinished it yourself because the finish is really cheap and junk. Dripped everywhere, the stain. Uh, stuff like, everything's got little nails. The top was nailed on. Come over here. See? So, don't drive these nails through. Clip them off with clippers. This is finished surface under here. Uh, I can fill a nail hole. Yeah, see, but said if you, if I would recommend if you're going to recycle the board and it's not the way it's on, it's clip the nail off. Jump my stove bucket, my ash is out this morning, it's still glowing too, so I need to watch it. It should be in the middle of the yard. Okay, back to work. Okay, there's not much in here good. See how those are made? There's not no wood left there. That's 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 firewood. Oh, that's the ball. Uh, few boards. Almost everything's warped. Stuff for small projects. Stuff like this I'll save because it is dimensional wood. Uh, some might go for burning. Uh, like most of these are warped. The top is warped. Clearly see it how it comes down here. I thought maybe this was some little bit quality wood looking at the top. It's just cheap wood. But, we can get this up here. Here's the drawer fronts. Well, we got three of these. About three quarters. Uh, think about stacking these like three high, screwing and gluing them together, and make a base for my knife sharpener. Because I've seen it put on a block of wood so you can sharpen scissors and they're up a couple inches. I got stuff blowing around hitting me. Uh, there's the back. Some cheap quarter inch plywood stuff. And probably like a three layer. And this would be like the bottom of the drawer. It's pretty nasty. I mean, this thing laid around and who knows where it was before it came to me. That could be like some birch. A lot of this stuff is made out of poplar or whatever. Cheap furniture. So, enough of that subject. Uh, we'll take a picture of the pile of junk here and then we'll go off and do something else for the day. Okay, back in where it's warm. We're getting quite a pile of lumber there. We saved some of the plywood, like the sides. 
in the back. Uh, we can make something out of it. If anything, you can use it when you're working on something to put down. But, like I said, those are kind of warped. We're going to pick out the best parts to stack them together. Uh, so we got a lot of kindling went out of it. That long stain piece is part of a trim. That's good enough to make some little thing out of it, even though it's not thick. And it's dimensional. Uh, like, go over from that. And then next long boards. They are boards to make something out of shelving or something. That's why I got them off kind of by that other shelf stuff. So there you go. We're going to get you up close. We're going to show you these uh, ends for the drawers. How they're wood put together. I might be able to make something neat out of them. Okay. Out of the drawer backs, this is the best one we saved. And there is a lot of nicks and stuff. We can sand it out. Uh, you can put pictures on this stuff, you know, and then spray clear over it. Art like, you know, you've probably seen that kind of stuff. Kind of weird dovetails, huh? What do you call that? Finger joining. And that side's not as great. But uh, We'll show you these, how these are put together. These are little pieces of wood put together. You can see the lines and see the different types of wood. See where it's a different type of wood. That was not the greatest. They get a little bit better as we go along, I think. Uh, like I said, you chop it down. I don't have a ruler right here to measure it, but you chop this stuff down and sand it down, you could come up with some kind of wood. Look how crooked that is. See how it starts here and it's joined down here? So all this stuff was made out of scrap wood when they made this stuff. This one's the same way. Uh, just pieces that are just joined that are whatever. But, kind of has a neat look to it. Look at that nasty stuff. Tell cheap poly fern. Look at that knots and stuff. One of these was better, but uh, you can actually see the saw marks. Can you see the saw marks on here? If we get this just right, I can see it. I think you can kind of start seeing it. There's the saw marks. Cheap stuff. Uh, like I said, one of, one of these I like the best. I said you could put like a picture on here and glue it with. And then spray clear coat over it, make little wall plaques. Uh, some of them are warped and some of them aren't. So, there you go for that. We'll take a break and we'll see what we can add to this video. Okay, we decided to make our sharpener stand here. So, you get an extra treat here today. Okay, we're going to make this about 10 inches long. There's the hole where the knob was. This board gets really bad from here to here, and I picked the best two. It really has a warp and a bow. So, we only had two of these drawer fronts that were any good. This is that 60 grit I'm always talking about, those yellow pads. So, I'm not probably going to take a picture. They're from Harbor Freight. They're yellow. They're really aggressive. This is just cheap spray-on stain sealer stuff. This is just a cheap piece of furniture. Anyway, we're going to go back two inches, and this is about six because I watched the video I took a snapshot and had it on my computer and can't find it but I'm good good thing I've got enough memory to kind of get used to what I was gonna do because you put a pair of scissors in here when the scissors open they always hit so this has to be stacked up away so three of these high will be high enough and it'll be heavy enough and there is moisture in this wood I could put back my hand on this it's getting a little better when I got done sanding it because this laid outside, but we're going to Gorilla Glue it together. So the other side I also sanded, even though it's not stained. We're going to put the Gorilla Glue, we're going to keep it inside the wood, because that stuff spreads out. It'll foam out the sides. We're not going to do anything here till we're done. We want to keep this dimensional. We did not sand anything on the edge. We're keeping this dimensional till we're done. So we're going to come back. One is probably almost done. I don't know if anything I can include as I'm doing it. I'm going to go out and saw the boards with the... Uh, these will be sawed with the jigsaw. I got a really nice blade. I have to show them blades. They were free samples from Lennox. A wood blade and a metal blade is kind of curved. And I, and I mentioned before, the metal blade, I went through 3 16 of an inch thick piece of steel. I actually did it. Not an eighth of an inch. That sucker was 3 16 And the wood just rips through. So, it might be a little rough. But we'll sand it the best we can. It's not for looks. It's for a tool to use. So, Okay, now if you're asking about this, we don't want this to be a real long video. We'll probably just come back 
and we'll try to take some snapshots is what we'll do of, of how we're doing this because it's just something simple we're gonna stack three of these together we're gonna cut one make the pattern and we're you know what I mean stack them together glue them together it'll probably be this evening before I'm done because the glue has to take a few hours to dry so stay tuned okay we got this marked out with various tools and squares and that's what we're after because we want clearance if we put a pair of scissors in there so that's the design we're looking for right there and it does look a little too wide but I want this base to be heavy enough to where it can just sit on the bench and use it on the table so let's go saw this is going to be done with all with my Japanese back saw down here we got it marked on both sides so we can keep turning it around so that's how we're going to do that all by hand so stay tuned see how I got this angle so I'm cutting straight down with the world there I think you know what I mean and it's as easy as that no it's not as nerve-wracking trying to meet these points that's why I never saw it completely this way so I got here and knew what I had to do so this is it's, it's not perfect I'm not a woodworker and I'm not a machinist so that's what we get and we are done we got a few boo-boos here that's the channel where your bottom went in they had to put two of them together i wanted to alternate them uh like it's like here's hat one it makes it bigger the smaller and i was gonna fill it in and i want to get this done it does not matter okay this is the reason that i made it this way when you use that attachment your scissors will work otherwise you can't do it down on table I think you figured that out so I use that attachment if I ever sharpen scissors these are dollar store or whatever dollar tree whatever to get the idea but it gives you more more clearance out here to work when you're working around it there you go we got some linseed oil on it we use whatever 222 I don't know some of that sandpaper I've used it and the packages are gone I just use what looks good it's not a piece of furniture uh, with that stack it kind of gives you that kind of breadboard look it's just rough I mean I went over the edges get the frame I went over the edges rounded off the corners went around the corners uh, the saw marks aren't perfect because I had to stop had to keep going a little bit more because I couldn't get the piece out, which I showed you at the vice there. So, there you go. Thanks for watching this weekend. And we'll look forward to seeing you next Sunday.